I do sacrifice everything every day. And it sounds where it's saying that I wanted to do that I couldn't do. But I don't like to put my child as a excuse, but it is things that I wanted to do. Like, you know, take on other positions, jobs, you know, go back to school, but just being a single mom, it could be a big struggle. But the thing about it is, I don't let it bother me. Like, I just go on with life. I wake up, I'm super happy just for that. And just being able to just, you know, watch Jahari grow and just see all the things that he learned all by himself. You know, it's things where he teaches me certain things that I teach him. I say the one thing that I want to be able to give my child is just the time, you know, like my father gave me zero time. So I at least want to give him some time, you know, or spend some time with him if possible. You know, I know I work and I work crazy hours with these jobs that I work with, too. And, um, you know, I want to be able to um, show him more about who he is, uh, show him that uh, just like being a young black boy is gonna get even harder when you become a young black man. You know, it's not gonna, you know, get less harder for you as you get older. I wanna teach him that and, you know, I know it's real cliche cause I know most people would just say, I just wanna give my kid all the things I didn't have, but I wanna give him all the values that I didn't have growing up too. I was a stressed child, you know, I uh, didn't have the shoes, didn't have the clothes, you know, I was going to school. It was, it was bad. Both of my parents was on Social Security and um, it was a limited source of income, uh, which means it left me to fend for myself, which on my end, I'm trying not to let my kids do that. I don't want them to fend for themselves. I want them to have someone to have their back. I want to I want to be there when they fall. You know what I mean? I want to be there to pick you up. I want to be there to make sure. I want to see your first experiences, you know? Um, and a lot of parents don't think that. A lot of parents just think that the, the tools they give their kid as far as protect yourself. Don't let nobody do this to you. Don't let nobody talk this to you. But in fact of you know, and even I do it with my daughter, you need to take responsibility of your own actions. When you have an appointment you have to go to, you have to make sure he has a babysitter so you could get together for the appointment. And then if you have, if he has an appointment, you have to get yourself together. That's the challenge. You have to get yourself together, then you have to get him together, plus the diaper bag, plus the bottle, everything he needs for the trip to the doctor's appointment. So, that's hard. They're not gonna wanna give you kisses when they get older. They gotta get all the kisses in while you can, because when they're bigger, they're gonna be like, Mom, like in front of my friends, really? So, you gotta get all the kisses in while you still can. <laughs> when I got older, I was like, Mom, don't kiss me in front of my friends. So. I, I feel, I do that to my son, get all the kisses and why I still can.